It's the National Football League on EA Sports, and the wait is over for this rivalry game. It's the Buffalo Bills and the Miami Dolphins, and it's all up next. We are about 15 or so miles northwest of world-famous Miami Beach as we are set for football at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Tyler Bass about ready to get us going. And we are underway from Hard Rock Stadium. And able to get this out to 25. Well, the Dolphins head out, led by the NFL's leading passer in 2023. Now in his fifth season, to a tongue of Iloa. And he's coming off a great season where he put up career highs in yards and touchdowns, while also leading one of the most prolific scoring offenses in the NFL. The number one thing he did last season, though, staying healthy. When he's on the field, Miami can roll. Throwing to start here is Tua. He'll get this to his tight end. It's Jonu Smith. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there were more people there to get him down. Tua going to throw. And his throw here is incomplete. Everything about that play tells you about today's NFL offenses and what they're asking out of running backs. You can't just be a guy who can run the football. You have to be able to catch it as well. And he didn't get that done on that play. Third play here, this opening drive as they're up against a third and five. They'll bring the tight end in motion right. Out of the gun on third down, here's Tua. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. That's good for a first down, his second catch of the opening drive. Normally on third down and short yardage, you're thinking to throw to your tight end. It's just going to be a simple chain mover. But this time they let him roam down the field, and a nice dart picks up the first down and then some. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 45-yard line. Again, they will throw it with Tonga Bailoa. And his throw is going to be incomplete. As a general rule, receivers love the comeback route because it puts them right in the sight lines of the guy throwing the ball. But in this case, the defenders saw it and were able to knock it away. Here's second and ten. They'll run for the first time with Raheem Mostert. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. Brandon, you're a big lover of music. How about what you just saw there? This is what I call playing the piano for a defensive lineman. The ability to move laterally up and down the line of scrimmage. How about the way he just flowed and got to the outside part of the field and made that play? Off of play action. Tonga by Loa. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Daquan Jones fighting his way home to get the sack. What a nice read and play by the defensive tackle. Never bought the play action fake. Went right for the quarterback and put him on the ground.
So on fourth down, here's Jake Bailey to punt for the Dolphins. And he'll get this away into the humid Florida sky. And this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. Out comes the offense for the Bills, led by their quarterback at six foot five. That's Josh Allen. I remember when he came out of Wyoming, the big question mark, could he be accurate enough to be a star in the NFL? I think it's safe to say he's put all of us in our place and put those doubts to rest. He can roll out and run it. He can bomb it over your heads. Everything in between is an absolute nightmare for defenses to try and prepare for. And when he's on, he's an MVP caliber player each and every time he takes the field. Allen. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And his play caller does a nice job of giving him an easy throw to start this drive, and he takes advantage of it. The completion sets up a manageable second down. From the 23, this is second and three. Now Allen, swinging this out wide here for Cook. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. A gain of five, first down Bill. So the shotgun snap to Allen. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. That's a staple of this offense, drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. From the 33, here's a second and five. Now a guy who played his high school ball at Miami Central, it's James Cook. And he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. Here now, third and a yard. Motion man is Shakir. And he'll get it here on the touch pass. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. They'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and it'll be fourth down. Well, they tried to catch him by surprise, I think, there with that little pop pass on third down, but no luck. You're right about no luck, but I did like the idea. I like the thought process. Make an unconventional call on third down sometimes. It can pop big. In this case, it didn't. Here's the punter, Martin, out to kick it away. And he'll get credit for putting him inside the 20 as the fair catch is made right at about the 19-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And it'll be Dolphin football. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. Yeah, that's a good start to drive number two. Remember, they had to punt the first time they had it. So maybe a little bit different sense of purpose here. And they start out with a nice gain and a quick first down. Throwing now is Tungabailoa. Tyreek Hill's got another one. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 12 more yards for him there. It's a first down. And ever since Tyreek Hill arrived in Miami, somehow taking his game to new heights. He's eclipsed the 1,700-yard mark in each of the last two years. And at one point last season, it seemed that he was destined to be the first wide receiver to total 2,000 receiving yards in a single season. He's truly a special talent has become the focal point of arguably the most explosive offense in the NFL. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it'll be second down. 
Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Second and five. Tua setting up shop to throw again. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. A good pick up there of 20 yards. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going, and right now it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. Looking to pass to him. He'll get it once more into the hands of Hill. Only able to gain a couple there, and that's going to bring up second down. But well, there wasn't much there with that hitch route. They didn't gain what they expected. But sometimes when you call a hitch, you really don't have an alternate to go to. You don't have a second route to throw it to. So sometimes you have to rifle in there and hope for the best. In motion, Hill. They fake the handoff. Now Tua. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. And Von Miller, he was the one getting in there, able to wreak his usual havoc. And another long drive from the offense, but the defense is denying them the end zone. Nothing to show for the last drive offensively. They can't come away empty-handed again. So now after the sack, Tua and the Dolphins staring at a third and long. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. Under pressure, and they got to him again. Ed Oliver, that time, the one to get in there and bring him down. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Man, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game, I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play calling. Well, I can tell you what, when he popped up, shaking his head, frustrated right now behind center. Jake Bailey on now to punt here on fourth down. And he didn't quite have the backspin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. The defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and ten. Allen now looks to throw. Setting up the screen for Cook. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. And a really nice play call there to start the drive, especially if you're a team that has a little bit of a reputation for throwing it downfield. You come out, and you think maybe you can catch them off guard a little bit, and they did. Little screen pass, back door them, and that time worked well for a solid game. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. This will be caught at Samuel. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A first down there on a pickup of 25. Second and short, that's a rundown, so it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. First down, here's the run with Cook. And it'll be a minimum pickup here as it will take us to the end of the first quarter. No score after one on EA Sports. The Bills with the football as we start quarter number two. As they've got a second and eight forthcoming.
From the gun, it's again to Cook. Now third down is looming. A pickup of two on first down and just one yard there. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. And the line to gain here is the 37 on third down. Throwing now is Allen. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Jalen Phillips, the former first rounder, getting in there for the sack. And it's nice to see Phillips back on the field again after his year was cut short by an Achilles injury a season ago. Well, it's nice for us to see it. Quarterbacks, they may have a different opinion. On fourth down, here's Sam Martin on to kick it away. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Miami set to take over. We've seen both of these offenses still sort of in that figuring things out phase, but I suspect some action on the scoreboard soon as they start out here first and 10. Tongue of Iloa working out of the gun. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. It looked like they had something there, but I think that he was thinking about running with the football before he actually hauled it in, and that led to a big drop. Second and 10. Here's Tua. This one complete to Jalen Waddle. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. From the gun, it's Tua. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. That's Gregory Rousseau getting in there to bring him down. So that now four first-half sacks. This pass rush has been unrelenting. And, partner, you hear that sound of paper being ripped to shreds? That's a game plan that they've had so far because they've got to say to themselves right now, we have to do something differently. Here's Jake Bailey now. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. 40 yards on the punt, two on the return, and the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. Back now on offense, the Buffalo Bills. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? So good field position for the Bills as they come up first and 10 at their own 43. He's got his man. That's the rookie from Florida State. And he's brought down. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive, first down. A promising sign there from an offense that hasn't done a whole lot to this point. Nice job to locate the open receiver, and it's good yardage and a first down to open the drive. From the gun, it's Allen. Looking on the out route, he finds Shakir. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. From the 37, they work on second and six. 
Here's Allen to throw it. That'll be complete to Cook. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 18. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Another nice play there. They've gotten down into the red zone in no time at all. That's what this offense can do when they get on a roll. And now they're set up with a first and 10. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. They'll give to Cook on the read option. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Jalen Phillips, the edge man on the tackle. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean, or else he'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Second down and eight. Here's Allen. This is Coleman with a grab. And the Bills are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. So first and goal now from the seven-yard line. They'll run with Cook. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. I know the speed is always NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Coleman has it here right side. Five yards that time on the completion, and now it's third and goal. Fullback try and take him home. And not going to be able to push this forward. He runs into a wall right at the line of scrimmage. Well, let's see what they do. They're knocking on the door here in the second quarter. And you know what you look at on your play sheet? Your two-point conversion plays. Because you've drawn up a number of them in today's football. You don't just have one or two for the game. You have more like six or seven. Which one do you like here? Because that's essentially what you're going for right now. That spot of the field, call one of those and go get six. So, Charles, they are on the board after that kick. So, three drives, three points. Obviously not the start that you were hoping for, but... They're able to erase that zero off the scoreboard. Yeah, I guess what you're saying is a point of drive is not what offenses are striving for by any stretch. They're happy they've got three now. They hope that that unlocks their offense for bigger points down the road. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. Miami's offense set and ready to go. This one a little slow to get cooking. Just a 3-0 scoreline as they begin with a first and 10. Now they'll send Waddle in motion left. Off of play action. Tongue of Iloa. Throw right side. Going to be caught here by Waddle. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. He was unable to shake free there. and They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Now I'm not putting him in the Hall of Fame, but if you look at the great linebackers in history, they all have that ability to innately sense where a play is going. Sometimes even before the ball snapped, and they're there and end up making the play. Tua going to throw. Another catch there for Waddle. And they'll make sure he's touched down. Second quarter, two minutes remain. 3 nothing. our score. 
We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. So his job's a little bit easier for this halftime. Need to, give the, need to give the coach some highlights here. Yes, we do. It's a gain of eight, and it'll wind up moving the chains. That's a big conversion there on third down because they did not want to give the ball up here late in the half. They'd love to take the clock all the way down and score. This will definitely help the cause. And again, it's Tunga Bailoa. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. They came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. Now a second and ten. On play action, here's Tua. This will be caught. It's Waddle. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. The big gainer there on the catch and run, 37 yards. Well, he looked his way quite a bit in this first half, and with good reason. You can see it there. He is such a handful defensively, just too hard to keep him under wraps. It delivers a big play here for this offense. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Here's Tonga Vailoa to throw. That's complete right around the eight. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Timing is so important on a route like this because he's going to line up out right and then cut straight across the field. I think the ball might have come out a count or two too late because by the time he was able to secure it, not much of a chance to turn it upfield. Tua sets up to pass it. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half, but the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep them off the scoreboard here. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. Again, they will throw it with Tonga Bailoa toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. And based on my math, they've only converted one time thus far in this game. So you can see the frustration starting to come out a little bit. Third downs, they've been a problem for them. Yeah, I believe they buzzed down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. Jason Sanders now for the extra point. And this is up and good to make it 25 to the 27. The Bills offense and running back James Cook heading onto the field. And he has been a big component of the passing game so far. You see the numbers for this first half. This defense is going to need to find some way to key in on him because he is eating him up right now. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And with a little under a minute remaining, we'll see if they want to try to put a drive together, possibly even take the lead here with a touchdown. And his throw is incomplete. 
certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. Second and 10 now from the 27. To throw, it's Allen. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. Third down, here's a run by Cook. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. Now the punter, Sam Martin, called on to kick it away here. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially, and they will take over first and 10. The Dolphins taking over now late in this first half, and with a 7-3 lead, we'll see how aggressive they want to be. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now Tua. And his throw is going to be incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Throwing now is Tungavailoa. Short throw to Smith. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they'll stop him with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. They'll come up facing third and five. Now a play fake. Here's Tongue of Iloa. And going deep for Hill. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. They gave it a shot with a deep pass, but it wasn't going to work there. And now there's less time for them to try and get three before the half. Let's see what they dial up on this next snap. On is Jake Bailey to send this one away. Now a high kick, almost a pooch punt. Looking up into the lights, and he muffs it. Going to the air, Tonga Bailoa gets this one to Hill. It'll go down as a gain of six. And it's second down. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the left hash, this from 46. Sanders kick is good, and they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10 to three. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half.
So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. A final shot before half for Allen. He's going to float this one deep right side. And that is incomplete. So the two teams will head to the locker rooms here in Miami with the Dolphins on top. As we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. This has certainly been a fun one to watch so far. We knew this was going to be a battle, but we have not been disappointed. This is the kind of game that could wind up hinging on which side could play mistake-free football the rest of the way. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Sanders now to kick this one away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. And the Bills offense set to take over to begin quarter number three. It's been a tight game to this point. What do they need to do, Charles, to break through in the second half and take the lead? Well, I think the first thing they need to do is thank their defense for keeping them in this game. And, you know, I think the defense is saying back to them, why don't you guys focus on getting some first downs, put some drives together, give us a little bit of a break here. If we can get some rest, we'll play even better for you. And, oh, by the way, pay off a few of those drives with some points, too. Starting the third quarter with Cook. And that to the 30. It'll be second down. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and tip someone at the second level. Allen now looks to throw. Has his man. It's Shakir. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Coleman, the man in motion left. Throwing now is Allen. The throw to the left side, caught by Coleman. Short completion, just four yards, and that'll bring up second down. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. Shakir hauls it in. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. 22 yards there, a first down. And that's the kind of play this offense needs to maybe kick them into gear a little bit. They've been stuck in neutral much of the game. Perhaps that can give them a little bit of confidence that big plays are out there. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. Now Allen again. And that, oh, nearly picked off. It would have been a great time for their first interception of the game. Instead, it's second down. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. That's Samuel. Caught left side. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four.
Now Allen. That'll be complete to Cook. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They looked like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. Motion man is Shakir. Here's Allen. Out to the left, he's got his tight end, Knox. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made it a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Now a second and two. Again, they'll throw with Allen. Quick slant to Shakir. And the Bills are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. And the throw and the catch were just fine, but again, zone coverage when you run a drag route, what you're hoping for is he makes the catch and makes someone miss, and they don't there. Very difficult route to run when everyone has their eyes back towards the quarterback and they're able to see the route develop. Here's Allen to throw it. Setting up the screen for Cook. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one yard. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. The key to any screen play is all in the deception. And that means everyone on the offensive side of the ball. But someone gave it up because that one wasn't very well concealed. And the defense able to rally to him and hold him for just a short gain. Allen. And that is caught. Touchdown, Buffalo. Curtis Samuel yard touchdown reception and the Bills are an extra point away from drawing level and all about timing there on that short slant Charles exactly right that was timed up so well the route the throw touchdown Tyler Bass on for the extra point attempt. And he'll put it through, and that evens us up at 10 apiece. So that one a long 11-play drive, and it culminates in a Bills touchdown. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kicks away here. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Dolphins offense and Tua Tonga Vailoa headed back out onto the field. And he had it going in the first half, that's for sure. He's really had his way with his secondary. They've been powerless to stop him. And he'll look to keep it rolling right here. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Their halftime lead now evaporated. We're back to level following that touchdown a moment ago. And that shouldn't change the mindset a whole lot from an offensive perspective because they already knew this was going to be a hard-fought game. Now they just need to go out, execute their game plan, and keep moving. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive. 12 yards. Play action, now it's Tua. He'll let this go deep for Waddle. And it's knocked away and incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. Third quarter, all tied up. This is second and 10. Looking to pass, Tua. 
Short throw to Smith. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion and would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And again, it's Tunga Vailoa. That is caught, and he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Seven catches for him now, and this last one, a first down. So he turned to a trusted, familiar face in that third down situation. It paid off. Yeah, you go to your veteran receiver in that spot, so you can't underestimate him when he's on the field defensively. Make sure you know where he is, because he understands how to get open in key situations. Now they'll send Waddle in motion left. On first and ten, it's Mostert. And a nice move will yield nothing as he's stopped behind the line. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. In motion, Hill. Second down, here's Mostert again. He's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. Got to get to the 26 for a first. This is third down. Two are going to throw. Throw caught by Achan. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 23. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. Motion man is Berrios. They fake the handoff. Now Tua. That's going to be caught. Touchdown. Tua fighting his old Alabama teammate, Jalen Waddle. And the Dolphins have moved out in front here in the final minute of the third quarter. So this game tied at the half, but we are tied no more. A touchdown there on the opening sequence of this third quarter. And what a great drive put together by their offensive coordinator. He had a plan, and they executed it almost to perfection, coming right out of the locker room. Now they're feeling good about their chances here in the second half. Sanders now to add the extra point. He's got it as they go up by a total of 17 to 10. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it was finished off by a Jalen Waddle touchdown. the touchdown ready to kick it away is Sanders and out a little across the 25 to the 27 now the Bills offense gets ready to head back onto the field they did what they had to do to start this third quarter went down got the touchdown to cut the lead but the matching touchdown a moment ago and we're right back where we started at halftime yeah you're exactly right partner they had a little bounce in their step after scoring that first touchdown but the defense gave one up and that's the problem right now can they get better play from their defense while they continue to score on offense allen gonna throw quick hitter here it's complete They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. The slot man in motion right. 
So the shotgun snap to Allen. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. So both teams trade touchdowns, and the third is worth through three quarters of play. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Miami. The Bills have the football, but they trail here as we begin quarter number four. Now Allen. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scantling. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. Allen to throw once more. Looking on the out route, he finds Shakir. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. Now a stoppage here as we've got a bill shaken up on the play. We'll get an update when we come back to Miami. So first and 10 now from the 30. Option play, here's Cook. And he's able to work his way down inside the red zone to the 19-yard line. 11 more on that one and another first down. Some big plays in the passing game on this drive. And here's one out of the running game. So the passing game, loosening things up. Now there's room to roam. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Allen now looks to throw. Touchdown, Bills! Khalil Shakir from 19 yards away. And the Bills are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. And we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. And we're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Here's Bass now for the extra point. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. That time, a six-play drive. And it was all polished off with a Khalil Shakir touchdown catch. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Dolphins offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And he has been masterful so far in leading this offense. He's kept the mistakes to a minimum. He's been on point with his passes. And he's generally been one step ahead of this defense all game long. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They no longer have the lead after that last touchdown, all tied up in the fourth quarter, and a chance for this offense to mount a potential game. It's caught inside the 25. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 71 yards. 
And the Dolphins answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. Might be seeing that one on the highlight shows tonight. The home run ball here in the fourth quarter to take the lead. There's nothing like being aggressive, preaching that to your team, and then following through. All the way through. Go ahead and throw one more up there. Why not? Been a great game, and we are not done yet. Sanders on for the extra point. And they will take a seven-point lead now. Well, the offense wasn't out there for a long time, but they were out there for a good time. One play, and they're able to hit pay dirt. For the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The Bills offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And we'll take you through some of the highlights here. You'll notice he had a hand in a lot of them so far. He's got this offense rolling right now. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And now, after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. And Jordan Brooks on the tackle. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back, those are the ones you focus on and want to take away. And they've done that pretty successfully in this game. That's going to be caught by Samuel. So just three yards on the completion there. And now it's third and four. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route. And he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Throwing now is Allen. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Give him 32 on the play. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 36. Coleman, the man in motion left. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free and it's second down. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive bats on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. To the air, Allen. Finding Knox there, complete. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins 23. That one goes for 13 yards and it moves the sticks. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. They'll roll him out right, and he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. He couldn't get rid of it. He winds up losing a yard. It's second down. Defense went 3-4. They got some push from the inside. And this is something in a 3-4 you don't normally get because the nose tackle who got the sack 
He's usually responsible or ends up getting double teamed and sometimes triple teamed. How about him working his way back and putting the big guy on the ground? To throw, it's Allen. Working the middle here. That's complete to Knox, the tight end. So the pitch and catch good for 11. And they'll be faced with a third and inches. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we, we talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that will pull you out of that spot that they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Keon Coleman, a 14-yard touchdown. And the Bills are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Well, it was third and one. I was expecting run so much for that. They pass it, they score it. That had the feel of the head coach telling the offensive coordinator, you've got four downs here. We're going to go for it on fourth down unless there's a disaster on third. Go ahead and take a shot if you want to. And he gratefully accepted the opportunity and did exactly that. If they didn't get it there, that had the feel that they would come back and try it on fourth down. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The home team's offense and their quarterback headed out for this next possession. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been that successful. He just processes things so quickly and makes the right read seemingly every time. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do, and you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. And partner, in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars, and he came through with a nice catch right there. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 48-yard line. In motion, Hill. A run with Mostert up the middle. And they'll get this just to the 47, one-yard gain. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Over the middle, he gets it to Barrios. So the completion good for seven there. And this will wind up being a third and three. And everybody thinking about the possible field goal on fourth. It would be 58 yards from here. And open man. That's complete. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. Two of the Tyreek for the Miami first. I don't care how many times we see it. I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass trait in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, 
We see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. This is caught. And he'll take this into the end zone for the Dolphins touchdown. Braxton Berrios, 33 yards. And the Dolphins have broken this deadlock and have taken the lead here in the fourth. So, Charles, this game feels like it has been punch, counter punch all throughout. And that touchdown breaks our tie here in the fourth quarter. You're making me want to get back in the gym and start training again. You talk about those punches and counter punches. I also think this is where you and I start thinking to ourselves, who's going to make the play to change that, right? Who's going to get out of this little cycle that they're in right now and make a play and give their team a firm advantage? Extra point up and good by Sanders, and they will take a seven-point lead. to the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. Allen and the Bills now. Down by seven. A little under two and a half to go. Plenty of time here. They've got three timeouts and the two-minute warning as they've got it first and ten. Let him too much that time. It's incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. They'll try again here. Second and ten. Here's Allen. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Coleman. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you got to run fast. Of course, you got to catch the ball. But route running savvy and toughness is a premium for all of that now. Allen from the gun on third down. Completes it to Samuel. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. But the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep at the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Bill's football here as we get you reset. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. And returns it right back to Samuel. That completion helps out in a nice way. Now they can take a little bit more time, but guess what? They've got to make sure on their throws that they see it open, not just anticipate it. Here's second down and three. Here's Allen. He's got his target. It's the tight end, Knox. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll get it with just over 90 seconds to go in the ball game. Here's first down. Now Allen. And it's caught. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. 
He has been terrific today, hasn't he? Yeah, absolutely. Run flawless two-minute drill right here. This has been quarterbacking 101 with a flourish. Second and one from the two. To throw is Allen. Touchdown! Dawson Knox, a touchdown grab from Josh Allen. And the Bills are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. Well, the hard part's done. Now they just need to split the post, tie it up, but then their defense is going to have to hold up to send it to overtime. Yeah, no matter what. I know there's an inclination in it when you have momentum to go for two here, but if you miss it, you don't give your defense a chance at all. Plus, it's been a good game. I want to see overtime. I'm selfish. <laughs> you obviously don't have a flight to catch. Tomorrow. Bass on for the extra point. And no sweat, he puts it through, and we are tied here in the fourth. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told, and it ends in a Buffalo touchdown. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Well, the Dolphins offense and Tyreek Hill set to take over once more. And he's looking to finish strong. He has been the star of the show as they have just had absolutely no answers for him defensively. This is first and ten. Throwing to a. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. And I believe the ref has been buzzed. Yeah, they want to take another look at this call, and it's certainly a big one here late in a tight game. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide, and I, I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things, but even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So the officials and the folks in New York got a second look at this one, and the call is going to be overturned. All three timeouts still at their disposal. Here's first and ten now. Now Tua. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Under 50 seconds to play. Here's second and 10. Tua. That'll be caught by Hill. Oh, what a juke into space. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Now that is the two-minute drill at its very best. Get the completion, get a big chunk of yardage, and then get out of bounds to save those timeouts. You cannot do it any better than that. Here's first and ten. Here's Tua from the gun, a run with Moster. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play.
Ball at the 18-yard line. Here's second and 10. Now a fake on the jet sweep and a give to Mostert. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Probably had 60,000 thinking pass right there, including us in the booth. Yeah, no doubt about it. That was a big call, big guts on that one. And guess what? That run, it'll pay dividends. So a big one coming now for Jason Sanders. He's hit on his one earlier attempt tonight, but this a little more pressure packed for the win. And his kick is good. He knocks through his third field goal of the game, and this one is the one that decides it. And the Dolphins have come back now to regain the lead. Well, this was a very close ball game at halftime, Charles, but in the second half, that offense kind of kicked things into another gear, and they were able to pull away for the victory. And, Brandon, I think they're the type of team that just looked in the mirror and said, hey, ton of pressure on, but we're the type of team that can flat out handle it. They stood up, stood up with confidence, and made it happen for a victory. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. The Dolphins are winners here as we say so long from South Florida.